Digital Performer is a product of the Mark of the Unicorn Company, and I am in no way associated with Mark of the Unicorn. All right, in this next tutorial, we'll be working with getting the timing reference within a project. Okay, what's really important about a timing reference in a project is to have a tempo set to the exact tempo of the song that you're creating. That way, it's easier to sync delays or any type of effects that you're using. And also, for doing any type of MIDI editing that is, that is done on a grid basis, that the computer looks at and it says, OK, well, I'm going to take this and I'm going to double time this, this data, or I want to you know, triple it, or I want to half time it, or any type of timing reference. If it's set up on a grid, it's a lot easier for the digital audio workstation to work with. And Digital Performer works really well with timing reference, too. So it has a lot of different types of arpeggiators, um, you know, anti-flamming, um, you know, just tons of, tons of tools you can utilize uh, for MIDI composition and timing uh, differences. So we'll go ahead and get working on that here. Okay, setting up the tempo in Digital Performer in a session is quite simple. Right here we have the metronome icon right here for the click track. Okay. We just loop our sequence on a couple of measures. Okay. And we change the tempo from the tempo slider here to slow it down or speed it up. Quite simple actually. Once you find the desired result, just uh, Save it in your session, and you're done.